wants to migrate to Napier. It's very interesting how you're particularly choosing one uh, city in New Zealand. That's fantastic. Uh, so as I keep saying in all my videos, uh, now what has happened is to migrate to New Zealand uh, directly has become a little difficult. Uh, you need to either have studied in New Zealand for two years and done a, a master's or a PhD in uh, uh, New Zealand, or you should have skilled employment or the or a skilled employment offer letter from an organization in New Zealand. And then uh, these are the two uh, ways uh, by which you can migrate to New Zealand. So direct migration has uh, become a little difficult uh, of late. Uh, so uh, the, which is why my team and I, we keep strongly advocating the study plus settle pathway. Uh, because when you come invest into a course in New Zealand, come and study here, uh, you're not only getting yourself onshore, but you're also being able to uh, go and meet prospective employers after you complete your course. And if you do a proper course, you should be able to get a post-study work visa. So basically you come here for two years and in those two years, you should be able to get a job offer. Uh, and that will fulfill that uh, condition, which is that you need to have employment in New Zealand. And that's the way you will get enough points to be able to migrate to New Zealand, subject to meeting all the other conditions like health and character and uh, all these other things and IELTS as well. So that's the way to do it. Uh, so direct migration is practically ruled out and also uh, trying to find work in New Zealand when you're not present in the country is also very uh, difficult in my entire 10, uh, 15 years of being in this uh, industry. It's been a very handful of cases when people could actually find direct jobs in New Zealand as well. So my suggestion is seriously consider the study plus settle pathway, whether you're single or you're married. For married people, it's actually even more uh, doubly beneficial because you and your partner can come here and uh, if you're coming as a student the partner will get uh, full-time work rights and you will get your part-time work rights as a student so basically you guys will be able to earn enough uh, to not only take care of yourself but also recoup some of the investment you make into your education and by virtue of being onshore in new zealand you will also be able to uh, be in front of uh, employers and pitch strongly for a job and when you get the job is when you fulfill that other condition, the second condition that uh, you have skilled employment or an offer of skilled employment in New Zealand. And that's when you get the required number of points, which is 160 or above right now to be able to make a, a serious attempt at getting a, a resident visa in New Zealand, which as most of you like to call a PR or a you know, migration. So that's how it happens. So